A is an 8 kilonewton load that lies at 30 degrees to the right of the positive y-axis. B is a 6 kilonewton load that lies at 40 degrees to the right of the negative y-axis. We are asked to find the resultant of A and B so that R lies along the positive x-axis. We want to find this value for theta. Using Cartesian component form, the first thing we want to do is write A as a vector. If you look at the triangle, this is theta, this is 8 kilonewtons. The adjacent side of a triangle is going to be your AY component. That will be 8 cosine theta. And the X component is going to be 8 sine theta. So that gives you A in Cartesian component form. To find B in Cartesian component form, we want to draw a similar triangle below the y-axis. This is 40 below the x-axis. This is 40 degrees. This is 6 kilonewtons. The adjacent side is the cosine part. So this is 6 cosine 40 in the negative j direction and 6 sine 40 in the positive i direction. So those are our two forces in Cartesian component form. Now we want to find the resultant. The resultant of A and B is adding up the i's and adding up the j's. If I add the j's, I have 8 cosine theta minus 6 cosine 40 in the j direction. And you add your i's, and you have plus 8 sine theta plus 6 sine 40 in the i direction. Now that's r. That's your resultant. What we're asked to do is find theta so that r is along the positive x-axis. Well, if r is along the positive x-axis, what that means is the j component has to be equal to 0. So let's set that j component equal to 0. 8 cosine theta minus 6 cosine 40 equals 0. Cosine theta is 6 cosine 40 divided by 8, or theta is 54.9 degrees.